Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying the remainder. I have an example division problem here. We have 15 apples and I have divided them into four groups. Imagine that there's 15 apples being shared by four people as equally as they can. And so one person would get these apples, and the second person these, and third person, and fourth person. Each person gets three apples, right? And then there are three apples left over that cannot be divided equally, unless you take a knife. Okay? But if we are thinking of the whole apples, then this is the situation. Three apples left over, and these three apples are the remainder in our division. And we write 15 divided by 4 equals 3, remainder 3. This R is for the remainder. So it means there's four groups, three apples in each group, and three apples left over. Let's look at another example. We have here lots of blue dots. Oh, Matthew says they're blueberries. Yes. Divide them into three groups as equally as you can. Okay, and here's my division, 20 divided by 3. Okay, let me see. If I put here 6, 6, and 6, okay? So that's my division as equally as I can do it. You can also think of 20 blueberries and 3 people sharing them. And there's 2 left over. The answer though is how many in each group? 6. And remainder? 2. You can also check this division, just like you can check any division by multiplication. You multiply 6 times 3, okay? Or 3 times 6, either way. So you get 18. That's all those blueberries in these three groups here. And then you add 2, and that gives you the total number 20 over here. Now you try this one yourself. Can you write a division here with the remainder and divide these cherries into five groups as equally as possible? Okay, five groups. If there's five people sharing, everybody will get two cherries and then we have two cherries left over. And in total I have, there's five times two, six times two, there's twelve to start with. Divided by five and equals two in each group and then remainder two. Now in this problem we are no longer looking at sharing divisions. We are no longer sharing equally between so many people. Instead, we're going to make groups of a certain size, groups of six this time. And in the drawing, it's pretty easy now. I'm just counting six. It's one group of six, another group of six, and then I can't anymore make groups of six. These three are the remainder, the leftovers. And this time the answer is how many groups? Two groups. Okay, notice this. The answer is not how many in each group because I was told how many in each group. Groups of six. There's six in each group. The answer is how many groups? Okay, two. But the remainder is still those leftovers, those three red apples, cherries, whatever. And once again, we can check this division by multiplying. You multiply these two numbers, six times two to get how many are in the groups, and then add the leftovers, 3, to get the total number. Over here, let's practice some more with these stars. Divide all these stars into groups of 3. You can try to do it yourself while I actually do the groups. Groups of 3, okay, I get one here, another one, and one more. What is my division center that I can write here? Okay, I need to find out the total number of stars to write my division sentence. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 3, plus 1, that's 16. I'm making groups of 3, so division by 3, and then how many groups? 5 groups, and remainder 1. Now over here, divide into groups of 7. And, uh, is that Matty? 
Oh, okay. Blueberry cookies? Make them into blueberry cookies, he's saying. All right, here we go. Some blueberry cookies for you. Divide into groups of seven. One, two, three, four. Yep. Oh, that goes easily. Look, there's seven in a row. So I get three groups, right? And three left over. What is the division sentence now? My total number of cookies would be 3 times 7, 21, plus 3. That's 24, dividing by 7. Okay, and I get 3 groups, remainder 3. Is that Matthew? Oh, look what he did. He ate all the cookies. 